¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les da? Bienvenidos a esta fiesta de las ciencias. El día de hoy me da muchísimo gusto saludarlos desde la explicada del Museo de las Ciencias Universum aquí en Ciudad Universitaria, en la Ciudad de México con motivo eh, de la presencia de Big Man en México. Este personaje protagonista del programa El Mundo de Big Man, que se transmitió por primera vez en 1992 en Estados Unidos y que, bueno, a lo largo de seis años, poco menos de 100 programas y cuatro temporadas, logró impactar e influir en varias generaciones de niños y jóvenes que decidieron o siguieron el camino de las ciencias. El día de hoy, Big Man está en México con motivo de las celebraciones del 75 aniversario del Instituto de Física de la UNAM. Y bueno, hay una gran cantidad eh, de personas, 3.000, 4.000 personas, los asistentes, los privilegiados en este, en este museo. Y hay muchísimos más que no pudieron hacerlo, pero ustedes pueden seguir la transmisión a través del canal cultural de los universitarios y la colaboración con OMA, Organismo Productor de Medios Audiovisuales. Y nos están siguiendo a través de los canales digitales 30 y 30.2 en el Distrito Federal y en alrededor de 16 ciudades alrededor de toda la República. Todo está listo para que Big Man suba a este escenario. Ya están ahí sus fanáticos. Ya está aquí la mesa lista con algunos papeles higiénicos. Vamos pues a disfrutar a Big Man. No, I'm sorry. I just I need to focus on the show right les da la más cordial bienvenida. Cedo el micrófono a la coordinadora de difusión del Instituto de Física, Aleida Rueda. personas en el Instituto de Física y en un día que lo pusimos en Facebook, con un día bastó para darnos cuenta que había muchos más fans de Big Man que 400 personas. Entonces tuvimos que buscar una sede más grande, tener un segundo show y ofrecerles a ustedes a la mayor cantidad de gente que podíamos tener el show que van a ver en estos momentos. La última cosa que les voy a decir es que eh, Paul me pidió que les dijera, va a dar su show, luego tienen que esperar unos minutos y después va a regresar, ¿ok? Entonces, para que estén preparados, estén preparados para esa pequeña pausa. Y ahora... Les voy a presentar a los que hicieron posible esto, porque sin ellos todo esto no hubiera sido posible. Al doctor Manuel Torres, director del Instituto de Física de la UNAM. Al doctor José Franco, director general de divulgación de la ciencia de la UNAM. Al licenciado... Ángel Mairén, coordinador de los Encuentros de Ciencias, Artes y Humanidades. Y a Ernesto Velázquez Briseño, director general de TV UNAM, gracias a la cual hay un montón de gente que está viendo el mismo show que ustedes están viendo aquí. ¿Les damos un aplauso a todos? ¡Oh, ya! ¡Oh, ya! Gracias por acompañarnos. Eh, la Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México se enorgullece de presentar por primera vez en México a Big Man en vivo. Esto simple muestra, simplemente muestra la importancia que tiene la educación cuando se hace de esta manera, como él hace, es divertida, sin, con ingenio para todos ustedes. Por supuesto, esta es la gran contribución de la UNAM para la celebración de los 75 años del Instituto de Física de la UNAM. 
Va a haber muchas más celebraciones, pero este es un punto culminante. Muchas gracias por venir. Buenas tardes, UNAM. Bienvenidos a Universum y esperamos que disfruten muchísimo este evento. Bienvenidos. Que venga ya, venga. Felicidades. México, Pumas, Universidad. ¡Oh, ya! ¡Universidad! Big Bang con ustedes. Please welcome the Duke of Discovery, the quarterback of questions, the Don King of the Bada Bing, the Don Amici of the Swell and Peachy. Please pound your little hands together for Big Now, we have a special guest here today. He's going to translate. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the Mexican voice of Beekman, Senor Juan Carrillera. Pumas y más Pumas, saludos de Big Man, saludos, hey, thank you, thank you, gracias, All gracias. Right. Man, I said your name wrong again. It's Juan Carralero. Ca huh? Carralero. Nice one, uh -huh. Guajira Juan Carralero. Ah, oh, Juan, hey, Juan, Juan Carralero. Carralero. That's the way. All right. All right. Good. Okay. So we're going to do some demonstrations for you right now. Vamos a hacer unas demostraciones para ustedes. All right. Let us start. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Now I have right here. Tengo justo aquí a picture of one of the most beautiful human beings in the entire universe. La fotografía del hombre más bonito de todo el mundo en todo el universo. There you go. <laughs> Why, thank you. All right, now I have the same picture, only upside down. Tengo la misma fotografía, pero boca abajo. So, you think it's the same picture? ¿Ustedes creen que es la misma eh, fotografía? No, no. You're too smart. Son muy inteligentes. There you go, huh? This is Beekman in the morning before coffee and after coffee. <laughs> Antes del café y después del café. Now, folks, it's a lot easier to tell the difference between these two knuckleheads. Es muy fácil decir la diferencia entre estas dos fotografías. When they're both right side up. Cuando ambas se encuentran hacia arriba. It's much harder to tell the difference between the two 
when this one is upside down like so. Es mucho más difícil cuando una de ellas se encuentra boca abajo. It's all because we're used to seeing faces right side up. Por eso tenemos que ver las caras siempre hacia arriba y es lo que siempre hacemos. Nos vemos todos hacia arriba. We're not used to seeing faces upside down unless we have the monkeys living in a tree. A menos de que seamos changos subidos en un árbol, nos veremos así en la forma hacia abajo. So it's all about what we're used to with my evil twin and myself. Ahí es donde vemos la diferencia de su diabólico hermano y el mismo Big Man. All right, next. Thank you. All right, now. What are we doing next? Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take... Maybe you guys see this on a TV show. I'm going to take these two identical forks. Voy a right tomar here. estos idénticos tenedores. And I'm going to balance them on the tip of my finger. Y los voy a balancear en la punta de mi dedo. <laughs> People over here go... <laughs> Security. Is there a doctor in the house? Okay, so like I said, I'm going to balance these two and the toothpick on my ugly little finger here. Where's the camera guy? Where's the dude with the camera? Where's the guy with the camera? Oh, here we go. Okay. Here you go. Hi. What's your name? What is your name? You know what he's saying to himself right now? Please leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take these two identical forks and this one toothpick and balance all of that on my tip of my finger. Voy a tomar estos dos tenedores idénticos y los voy a balancear con el palillo en mi dedo. All right, here's what we do. We take the two forks like that and we put them together. You make a little hinge. And then you take a round, not flat toothpick. Debe ser un palillo que no sea plano, debe ser redondo. And you put it right in there like so. And then you can balance the whole magilla right on your finger like that. <laughs> Next time when you go to a restaurant, you can leave that for the waitress. <laughs> la siguiente vez que vayan a un restaurante, se lo pueden hacer a la mesera. All right. So, what's going on here? ¿Qué es lo que pasa aquí? It's all about the center of gravity. Eso depende hacia el centro de gravedad. Now the center of gravity is the combination of two things. El centro de gravedad es la combinación de dos cosas. The mass or the stuff we la have here. O la masa o las cosas que tenemos alrededor. And where the stuff is in space. Y de forma en donde está la masa en el espacio. Okay, so the center of gravity of this is, let me show you with a camera. Where's the guy with a camera? It's... It's right, at, right down, right about there is the center of gravity right there. Okay, thank you, Javier. <laughs> Javier is like, I don't like you. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Javier is going to go home and, okay, and forget the day. Javier se va a ir a casa y bueno, ya después le digo. All right, man, here, put your hand up like that. Yeah. Now, you see, I have a belt. And this thing, and we'll just put that right there. Will it balance? Will it balance? And it does right there. Oh, is that magic? Es magia. No, it's science, right? Es ciencia, cierto? It's all about the center of gravity. Todo depende del centro de gravedad. The combination of the stuff we have here and where the stuff is in space. La combinación de lo que tenemos ahí y lo que está en el espacio. Now I can tell. By the look on your faces right now, estoy viendo por la cara que tienen ustedes en este momento, which looks something like this, que tienen cara como de esto, that you need a little bit more explanation of the center of gravity, and for that I need a volunteer. <laughs> okay. All right, take it down a little bit. Uh, I need somebody who's kind of big. Alguien grande. The one guy to be. Which guy? The one in the center, the red one. Okay, you want to come up in the red? Then, no, yeah, no, you. The first yeah, one? come okay, on up. Okay. okay. Now go, go that the, way. Go to the left. You have to go that way. 
I mean, the stairs. A la izquierda por las escaleras. I okay. said, go to the left. Now, <coughs> I need someone short. How about you? You in the red with the hat. La chica con yeah. el sombrero, yeah, yeah. sí. ¿Quieres pasar? Come? No, please, no. <laughs> I need someone short. Uh, yeah, I, they're too, a little too small. Dos chiquitas, uh, dos chiquitas. How about you? Yeah, come on up here. La de verde. Okay, chica, suertuda, venga para acá. All right. <coughs> this might take a while. ¿Qué pasa por acá? <laughs> Hi, folks. All right, give us a minute. We need a little time. Solo un minuto, por favor, en lo que suben. Come on over here. Aquí está. Déjame un aplauso. All right, stand over there. Okay. Hi, how are you? Fine. Uh, thanks. What is your name? Arturo. Arturo. And uh, what do you do in life, Arturo? Uh, fine. I'm studying biology. Oh, you're studying biology. Okay. And... Uh, no, don't do that, don't do that. Okay, and don't touch that. Go sit down. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Arturo. So, you go to the uh, Pumas. You... No, 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 all right, all right, all right. Take it down. Take it down. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I am really sorry I asked that question. <laughs> All right, Arturo, you stand right there. Come on over here, sweetheart. Oh my goodness. She has excellent taste in clothes. All righty. Now, <coughs> what I'm gonna do is, what is your name? Jenny. What is it? Jenny. Jenny. Okay. And uh, do you go to school? Or what do you do? Yeah, I'm in the PhD. You're a PhD? In chemistry. In chemistry. <laughs> She's a doctor. Almost. 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 All right. Well, go and become a doctor. <laughs> All right. Tell me your name again. Jenny. Jenny. Yeah. Okay, Jenny. All right. Good. Now we're going to study the uh, what is it called? The uh, center of gravity. Okay. Vamos a estudiar el centro de gravedad. The wig is on a little tight. Ah, está un poquito apretada la, la, la peluquilla. Okay. Arturo, sit down. Now, Jenny, do you think, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Should we put these guys into some goofy wigs? Yeah. <laughs> ¿Les ponemos pelucas? Sí. All right. Yeah, right. Let's get a little wig for you here. Let's put that on right there. Okay, stand up and show everybody. All right. That looks horrible. Se ve horrible. All right, Jenny, let's put this one on you. Okay. Look at the audience. Make a funny face. Okay. Should I give one to Javier? No, no, no. <laughs> then he'll really hate me. All right, go ahead and sit down there, Arturo. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question, Arturo. Do you think that Jenny can keep, keep you from getting up out of the chair with just one hand? Déjame preguntarte algo. ¿Crees que Jenny podría mantenerte en la silla sentado con solo una mano? No. No. Okay. Jenny, what do you think? Yeah, I can. I huh? think. You think you can? Yeah. All right. I like that. I like that. All right. Now, Arturo. Here are the rules. You must keep your hands in your lap as they are. And Arturo, aquí están las reglas. Mantén tus manos como están. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> and keep your feet flat on the floor. And you must keep your ass all the way back in the chair. Okay. Y debes mantener tus bomboncitos cerca de la silla. What? Bomboncitos. 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 <laughs> All right. Bomboncitos. 
Beekman is weird. Hey, es raro, Beekman. All right, now, this is what I want you to do, Jenny. I want you to take your hand like this. Eso es lo que vas a hacer ahora, vas a levantar la mano así. And you're going to place it against Arturo's head like that. Y le vas a empujar la cabeza así, como he, de esa forma. He's going to try to stand up. You are going to push against his head. Él va a tratar de pararse y tú tienes que empujar su cabeza. But don't push so hard that his head comes off. Pero no le pongas demasiado porque se le puede caer la cabeza. Because that would mess up the momentum of the show. Porque le da en la torre a este show. All right, good. Now, I'm sorry, I'm like squeezing on your heart there. I gotta be gentle. All right, Arturo, here we go. Go ahead and try to stand up. All right, push there, Jenny. Push, come on, push, push. Make him work, make him work, make him work. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, look at that, huh? All right. What's, what school do you go to? What school do you go to? I don't know. ¿A qué escuela vas? Ah, I'm in the Institute of Nuclear Science. Oh. Oh, she's radioactive. <laughs> okay, you want to take your wigs off? Give them to me. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't explain it. <laughs> Okay, yo he explicado esto un momento. Okay, so what's going on here? ¿Qué es lo que sucedió aquí? Okay, it's all about the center of gravity. Todo es acerca del centro de la gravedad. We humans have centers of gravity too. Tenemos centros de gravedad. The combination of the stuff that we are, las combinaciones de lo que somos, and where the stuff is in space. Y de las cosas que están en el espacio. So in humans, our center of gravity is right about here. En los seres humanos okay. está aquí el centro de gravedad. Now, watch as Arturo tries to stand up. He shifts his center of gravity forward, then he pushes up. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry, Arturo. Uh, Isn't that pretty? <laughs> All right. Now I want you to stand up slowly. Okay, so to stand up, Arturo must shift his center of gravity forward and then push up with his legs. Do it again. Cambia su centro de gravedad y después empuja para levantar. Yeah, that's right. See, do it again. <laughs> so in order to stand up, now wait a minute. In order to stand up, he must shift his center of gravity forward and then push up with his legs. Con el propósito de levantarse debe tener centro de gravedad en el estómago, apretar y después levantarse. Do it again. But he cannot shift his center of gravity forward and push up with his legs because Jenny is pushing it on his head. Do it again. Shifting that center of gravity. All right, that's it. Center of gravity. That's what it's about. Ese es el centro de gravedad. Eso es lo que estaba hablando. Can I have your wigs? Your wig. Pueden quitarse la peluca. You don't get to keep it. No se la pueden llevar. All right, let's give him a big hand. All right. Okay, you can go now. All right. Gracias. Gracias. All right. That was really moving. Eso sí tuvo movimiento. Okay. Next. Are you okay? All right, good. All right, next. Uh, You guys want to make a mess? Yeah. This is for all you chemistry guys. Esto es para los químicos. All right. See this bucket right here? Ven la cubeta que está ahí? I got, I got an ugly bucket. Tengo una horrible cubeta. I am going to add to the bucket some dry ice. Agregaré a la cubeta hielo seco. Okay. Dry ice. Hielo seco. Yeah, you know what? We need a little more. There we go. <laughs> Maybe that was too much. <laughs> Tal vez me pasé. Now, I'm going to pour some soapy water on top of the dry ice. Ahora voy a poner agua jabonosa sobre la, en la parte alta del hielo seco. Yeah, I'll be a little bit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Vamos a Ooh. ver qué pasa. Science beautiful. No es la ciencia preciosa. Oh my God! And the the guy, the boss of Unam back there is going, "What the hell is he doing?" All right. So, what's going on here? 
Well, I put some dry ice into the bucket first. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Puse hielo seco dentro de la cubeta. Now, dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. Es dióxido de carbono, el hielo seco. The same stuff that's in the bubbles in the soda that you drink. Es lo mismo que está en las burbujas de las bebidas que nosotros tomamos. Except this carbon dioxide is frozen. It is frozen at 78.5 degrees below Celsius. Excepto que este dióxido de carbono es... How much? 78.5. 78.5%. Bo. 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 Ah, great, great. Gracias. 78.5 below zero. Abajo cero. Bajo cero. Or 109 below zero Fahrenheit. O 109 grados bajo cero Fahrenheit. Now, when I pour the soapy water onto the dry ice, the dry ice doesn't melt into a liquid like regular ice. No se derrite como naturalmente lo haría el hielo. It goes directly from a solid into a gas. Va directo al sólido y se pro, pro, y viene a ser gas. Pro, 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 gas. Pro, 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 gas. So it goes directly from a solid into a gas. Entre el gas. Gas! Gas! Ooh, gas! Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and that gas makes all of these soapy bubbles with the help of the soap. Now, this uh, phenomenon of where a solid turns into a gas is called sublimation. A este tipo de técnica se le llama sublimación. Yeah, sublimación. Can you guys say sublimación? That was beautiful. All right, solid into a gas, sublimation right Solido there. Solido a gas se vuelve sublimación. All right, next. I have a glass of... Oh, why, why, thank you. I have a glass of water that I got from the men's room earlier today. Traje un vasito de agua que saqué del baño de hombres hace ratito. And in this hand, I have a large playing card. Y aquí tengo una carta de juego which happens to be a joker. Que es el comodín. Just like me. Como yo merito. All right. Now, here's the challenge. Using this card. Aquí está el reto. Usando esta carta. I wish to turn this glass of water upside down. Voy a voltear este vaso de agua hacia abajo. And hold it by the glass and not the card. Y deteniendo el vaso y no la carta. Without the water falling out of the glass. Sin que el agua salga del vaso. Oh, come on, you guys seen this before. <laughs> Give me that. You, you were doing this when you were a kid in the, in the bathtub. All right. Here we go. What do I do? What do I do? Put it on like that, right? I turn it upside down. And voila. Oh, no, no. No, there we go, right there. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Okay, so what is going on here? ¿Qué es lo que pasa aquí? Leaking. Está goteando. Bye. <laughs> That's science, right? Es la ciencia, es la ciencia. <laughs> okay, I'm really embarrassed. All right, what's this all about? It's about air pressure, my friends. Depende de la presión del aire. That's right. See, it's air pressure. Uh, folks, you know, you know when you go swimming in the pool or something, you feel that uh, water pressure in your ears? Ustedes cuando se avientan a la piscina y empiezan a nadar, sienten abajo una presión de aire? We live at the bottom of a giant pool of air. Tenemos en la parte de abajo un, una gran presión de aire. And this air pressure pushing up against us at all times. Y esa presión de aire nos presiona todo el tiempo. At 14.7 pounds per square inch. A 4.7... 14.7... 14.7... 14 uh, pounds square, uh -huh. per square inch. Cuadrados, cuadrados, exactamente. Yeah. Yeah. Bienes cuadrados. That's okay. right. Así es. I saw it, eh? Yeah. Square foot. This poor guy. Yeah. Pobre de mí. This is a nightmare for this guy. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. So, we, uh, we established 
there's air pressure pushing up against us at all times, okay? Now what's happening here? ¿Qué es lo que pasa aquí? Is the air pressure is pushing up on the card. La presión de abajo está presionando la carta. <laughs> I'm <doing> pushing. <laughs> Bambalino. <laughs> Yes, the air pressure is pushing up on the card harder than the weight of the water is pushing down on the Presiona card. más fuerte la carta de abajo que lo que el vaso está presionando hacia la carta. And you would need a glass of water about 10 meters tall before the weight of the water would be enough to push the card off the glass. Y necesitarán un vaso de agua de 10 metros de altura antes de que el agua salga. All right, good. Now, my friends... Oh. All right, so uh, I found this in my cousin's bedroom. Encontré esto en la en la recámara de mi prima. Right. Here we go. Hey Juan, uh, dance. Ah, dance. Ah. All right, that's all. all right. Now there is a name for that sound. Hay un nombre para ese sonido. A scientific time for that sound. Hay un nombre científico para ese sonido. It's not a snap, it's not a pop. No es un golpe, no es latigazo. Who knows what it is? ¿Quién dice cómo se llama? What do you think? ¿Qué creen? What? A sonic boom? <laughs> ¿Un estampido sónico? You're trying to tell me that this whip, when I do this, is making a sonic boom like the space shuttle makes when it's in the Earth's atmosphere at or above the speed of sound. Estás diciendo que este látigo hace el mismo sonido que una nave espacial cuando está afuera del espacio o dentro de la atmósfera. And the speed of sound is 760 miles an hour or 1,250 1, kilometers per hour. A 1,250 kilómetros por hora. Tiene que... Yeah. 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 The numbers, the numbers, okay, los números. So that's what you're saying? It's, it's, it's like the space shuttle? Where is es the guy? Es como una nave espacial, ¿no? Where is the guy? Yeah, is that what you're saying? ¿Es lo que decías? Yeah, go sit in the car. He's absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. Tiene toda la razón. Yeah, he is right. You see, folks, sounds we hear in the air El sonido que oímos en el aire are just rapid changes in air pressure. Cambia la presión. That's all, that's what sound is. Es todo lo que es. Rapid changes in air pressure. Rápido cambia la presión del aire. <laughs> okay. All right. So what happens is this. Lo que pasa es esto. When I crack the whip. Cuando le pego al látigo. The tip of the whip is going so fast. Va tan rápido. That the air molecules at las the tip. Las del aire can't get out of the way of the tip itself. Se quedan y van hacia el lado de la punta. So they quickly flow to the side like this. Ahora sí van al lado de la punta. And they make a cone uh, of compressed air. Forman un cono de aire comprimido. A cone of compressed air which then punches our eardrum. El aire comprimido le pega a sus oídos. Which our brain interprets as a snap. Y el, el cerebro lo interpreta como un golpe. It was that clear? Estuvo like... claro, la regué. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who wants to meet me after the show? All right, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right. Now, let's have some more fun with air pressure. Uh, I, need, uh, I need three volunteers. Uh, how about you in the, in the blue t-shirt? Yeah, you. Come on. Yeah. And uh, let's see. How about you in the pink? In the pink. Yeah, come on. And, uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, we need the rosa. Uh, uh, how about the. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is so hard to do. Uh, let's have you right there. Okay. Sure. Come on up here. Come on up. The stairs are over that way. Yeah, sure. Come on up. Come on up. You know. No, no, that's all. That's all we need. You know, the first two people, the first two people, I picked them out. I saw them. I picked them out. 
The third one, I went like that. Yeah, okay. That was funny, Beekman. All right, let's get the volunteers up here. Aquí vienen los voluntarios. Okay, are you a volunteer? All right, stand over there. Okay. All right. What is your name, please? Abinadir. Oh, again? <laughs> Abinadir. Abinadir. Yes. All right. Oh, we have four people. Hi, what is your name? Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Okay. What do you do for a living? ¿Qué haces para vivir? ¿De qué te dedicas? Estudio. Oh, uh, what are you studying? CCH, it's a, a, like a prepa. But high what, school. No, high what, school. What, what subject? What, oh, so he goes to high school? High school. Oh, okay, good. Okay. And uh, what about you? What do you do for a living? I study also. Oh, you study also? What do you yeah. study? International business. International business? <laughs> Calm down. I like that. You like that? Of course. You got any money for me? Yes. All right, good. Okay. And what is your name? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Do you think we should put these guys into some goofy wigs? <laughs> okay. Les van a poner pelucas, chicos. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, we've got this one for you. Look at the audience. All right, that's good. There you go. That's, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah. All right. And, uh, here, let's put you in this one. You gotta, get, you gotta lose the hat there, dude. Okay, let's put that on right there. Look, folks, it's, it's beeping after a shower. Beeping después del baño. All right, good. Now, what is your name, sweetheart? Jimena. Jimena? Jimena. Jimena. Hi, Jimena. Hi, Jimena. You're wearing, don't do that. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's okay. Uh, Jimena, what do you do? Are you a student or what? Uh, I'm a psychologist. A psychologist? Yeah. <laughs> she seems a little crazy for a psychologist. Se ve muy loca para ser psicóloga. All right, and what is your name, sweetheart? Azucena. Again? Azucena. Azucena. Oh, that's your name, Azucena? Yes. Azucena. I love you. All right, go. Looks like a freak, this guy. All right, hang on, hang on. Let's, should I put him in the wigs? Did we use this one yet? Yeah, we did. Okay, here, we'll give, give you a couple here. You're gonna get the grandma wig right there. Vas a parecer abuelita, pero no importa. And uh, here, you get the, look at this, you get a, this thing. Yeah. Nice, huh? All right. Now, here's what we can do. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have you one, Carlos. Is that right? Come on over here. Okay, stand right there. Look at the audience. Now, you and I are gonna have a contest. We're gonna have a contest. Vamos a hacer un concurso. And I'm gonna tell you about it in just a moment. En un momento te digo como es. You're gonna hold this. Walk that way. Until say woof. Okay. Woof. Okay. Now, come, diga, come back. I'll come back. Mm -hmm. Here, hold this, sweetie. Oh, wait a minute. No, you hold it. Beekman is confused. <laughs> All right. And uh, why don't you take that end and you walk down here. And uh, you know what I'd like you to do? Could you just stand right over there, right there, and, and look pretty? <laughs> I know, it's very chauvinistic, but we have one extra person. Would you like a drink? <laughs> no, would you? I want you to make sure nobody cheats. Yeah, no, I'm not in this. Okay, good. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a contest to see who can blow up the windbag first. Okay. We're gonna have, <laughs> no, I was in the moon. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have a contest to see who can blow up ah, the windbag first. You or me? Tú or yo? A ver quién sopla mejor. Guess who wins? A ver quién gana. All right. So listen, listen, Juan Carlos. We're gonna be. Woof, woof, woof. Okay, we're gonna fill up the bag. Not yet, not yet. Now here are the rules. We must be back to back. Ahí están las reglas. Like that. that. Espalda por espalda. Uh, you may not turn around and see how Beekman is doing it. No voltees a verlo, a ver cómo lo hace. And you may not stop blowing into the bag. Y no dejes de soplar a la bolsa. Until it's full of air or until you pass out. Hasta que esté llena la bolsa de aire o hasta que te hayas muerto. All right, here we go. Uh, you want to just get out of the way a little? Okay, you back up, back up. 
All right, are you ready? Listo? Okay. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> All right, hang, hang on a second. Huh? <laughs> I, I, actually, I, I actually got done a, a half an hour ago. Ya terminó hace media hora. And how did I do it? ¿Y cómo lo hice? I cheated. Hice trampa. Right? I cheated. Didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Are you angry? Very angry. Oh, dear. No. All right. Molesta, molesta. All right. Here's what happened. When I got you up here, I said, let's have a contest to see who can blow up the wi uh, windbag voice. Cuando right? estabas aquí, te dije, vamos a ver este concurso, a ver quién sopla mejor. And what you did is you went like that. But what I did was I had this guy, what's your name? Okay, so I had him that far away and I blew this far away, see? Wait a minute, let me try that again. One breath of air. Solamente con una One breath of air, let me do yours. Okay, it takes one breath of air. You hold it here and you do this. One breath of air. Now, why is it so quick? You see, folks. ¿Por qué es tan rápido? Ahorita les digo. You would think being this far away from the bag, stay there, uh -huh. this far away, that some of the air would miss. Tienen que uh, estar así de lejos para que el aire no se pierda. And listen, you could hear it. Y lo pueden oír. Your ear is missing on the sides. El aire se pierde por los lados. But fast rushing air. Pero hay aire rápido que entra. Like this. Fast rushing air. Rápido aire que pasa. Creates Creando lower air pressure. Presión baja. Right? It yes. does. Fast rushing air creates lower air pressure. So, what happens? When I blow into the bag. ¿Qué pasa cuando sopla la bolsa? That stream of air is lower pressured air. Es presión baja de aire. But all the air around that stream is higher pressured. Pero todo el aire que está alrededor es presión alta. And it pushes into that stream and goes along for the ride into the bag. Y presiona ese aire y va directo hacia adentro del globo. It's called the Bernoulli's principle. Se llama el principio de Bernoulli. Okay. Make like you're an airplane. Haz como que eres un avión. You are a beautiful airplane. Okay. Yes, so this principle, are you tired? No? Okay. So here's the principle, Bernoulli's principle. Aquí está el principio de Bernoulli. Fast, fast rushing air creates lower air pressure. The top of the wing is curved. La parte alta de las alas de un avión son curvas. The bottom of the wing is flat. Las partes de abajo son líneas rectas. So the air is going over the top of the wing faster than it's going underneath the Así wing. Que el aire va, pasa por arriba más rápido que lo que pasa por abajo. And the higher pressured air underneath the plane actually pushes the plane up in the air. Y la presión que pasa por abajo presiona las alas hacia arriba. Yeah, think about this the next time you're an airplane and you're sitting there and you're all happy and then you think, God, it's air pressure keeping me up here. <laughs> Piensen cuando están en el avión y digan, ay, la presión del aire me está llevando. All right, you did a very good job. I think you could be an airline pilot, pilot in a couple of weeks. En dos semanas serás una piloto de avión excelente. Put your wigs over here, please. And let's give them a big Pumas round of applause for our friends. All right, take Gracias. them out, take them out. Where are you going with that? <laughs> All right, folks, now for my last demonstration, my last demonstration. La última demostración. I'm going to take this leaf blower. Voy a tomar este soplador de hojas. Made in Ecuador. Hecho en el Ecuador. Or maybe Bolivia. <laughs> I'm going to take this leaf blower. I said that already. And I'm going to take this roll of toilet paper. Y voy a tomar este rollo de papel del baño. Roll de papel del baño. <laughs> And then I'm going to turn on the Voy leaf blower. Blow. And the fast rushing air is going to go across the top 
of the toilet paper. Y el aire rápido va a cruzar en la parte de arriba del papel del baño. So the fast rushing stream creates lower air pressure. Así que eso crea presión baja. And the uh, higher pressure there underneath the toilet paper is going to push the toilet paper up y like la presión that. Alta va a presionar el papel hacia arriba. Then the fast washing air is going to make the toilet paper... <laughs> y la presión de esto es que el papel va a empezar a... <laughs> You'll find out in a minute. You'll find out in a minute. Ah, ustedes encontrarán ahorita cómo va a ser la cuestión. Okay, he's doing a great job, isn't he? <laughs> All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. For our final demonstration, now I'm going to come back. In, after this, I'm going to come back and do a little show about the making of Beekman's Oil, okay? Dentro de un rato, cuando termine este, este, este evento, va a salir un momento y regresará. No se vayan. So don't go anywhere. No All right. vayan a ningún lado. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, our demonstration with a flying toilet paper. Aquí está la demostración. El papel volador. Do you need this? Lo vieron? Anybody need this? Hey folks, folks, you have been a fantastic audience. Ustedes son un auditorio sensacional. I love you, Pumas. All right, thank you, thank you, Mexico, thank you. Woohoo! Bada bing, bada bang, bada bye bye. Gracias, gracias, México. Y también les digo, right bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Nos vemos a rato. Gracias. Thanks. Okay. So I'm going to change real quick. <coughs> ya, ya estoy. Pues qué impresión. Qué impresión, en verdad, que, que un evento de corte científico tenga este recibimiento. Fueron entre 3.000 y 4.000 personas las que tuvieron la oportunidad de estar aquí en esta explanada para disfrutar eh, eh, de, de, este, de este espectáculo de Big Man en México. Un personaje que marcó toda una era, que marcó muchísimas generaciones. Ya lo decíamos al principio. Y, y bueno, eh, este, este personaje es protagonizado, más bien el actor que le da vida a, a Big Man, es Paul, eh, Paul Salum, este actor eh, estadounidense que, que durante seis años se dedicó a viajar, digamos, alrededor del mundo a través de estos programas para explicar la ciencia de una manera muy sencilla, siempre protagonizado o caracterizado por el humor en sus distintas presentaciones. ¿Qué es el ambiente? ¿Cómo funciona el aire? ¿Qué es la gravedad? ¿Cómo es que soñamos? Todo lo que podemos saber, todo lo que debemos saber acerca de la vida cotidiana, ya lo decía Bigman, no tiene que ver con magia. Es muy sencillo explicarlo eh, desde el lado eh, de la magia, pero bueno, en este momento tiene que ver con la ciencia. Es por eso que Bigman está aquí en México, está en la UNAM para participar en este, eh, en este programa que forma parte de las actividades por el 75 aniversario eh, del Instituto de Física de la UNAM, este instituto que cumple, como decíamos, ya 75 años en este 2014, una cantidad importante. Está con nosotros, nos acompañan aquí, el, el director de general de divulgación de la ciencia, Pepe Franco. ¿Cómo estás? Y también el director eh, del Instituto de Física de la UNAM está con nosotros, Manuel Torres. Adelante, por favor. Qué impresión, yo estoy impresionada con la cantidad de gente que está aquí, pero además con la actitud, ¿no? Cuánta efusividad, cuánto entusiasmo para un evento de ciencia. ¿Qué importancia tiene la ciencia para la vida cotidiana? Y generalmente no la vemos. Eh, esta es una demostración de que cuando hay ingenio y hay eh, este, sinceridad y hay este, simpatía, puede ser muy importante, puede tener un impacto grande. Es, eso es lo que nos está demostrando y esto pues dejó una huella muy importante en una cantidad enorme de jóvenes y hay que aprovecharlo. Hay... Big Man, un personaje que se convirtió en el principal divulgador de la ciencia de los años 90 sin serlo, siendo solamente un actor. Un actor, efectivamente, y bueno, yo creo que se demitifican varias cosas, ¿no? Como dice Manuel, por un lado, la ciencia puede transmitirse de una forma divertida, lo cual hace muy terso todo y la gente lo absorbe. Y por otro lado, como ya lo dijo el director de TV UNAM, esto, el tener a tanta gente, muestra que la televisión cultural 
que las estaciones de radio cultural llegan a una fracción importante de la población y digamos este éxito se debe pues a que Canal 11 está mostrando y ha mostrado que el camino de mostrar conocimiento de una manera simpática y agradable es la mejor forma de atraer a grandes cantidades de personas hacia el conocimiento. Y hacerlo a edades muy tempranas y de forma lúdica, como decíamos, porque son eh, eh, estas generaciones las que próximamente van a estar en los institutos, como en el, el Instituto de Física en este momento. Son el futuro y hay que demostrarles que la ciencia es útil, es agradable y se puede vivir de ella. <risa> se puede dedicar Principalmente. Claro. Oye, y, y, y qué importante este festejo, qué importante la presencia de Bigman para celebrar una, una cosa tan importante los como los 70. Cinco años del Instituto de Física, ¿no? Pues yo soy físico y mi esposa dice, yo vivo del físico y vivo bien. <risa> se, 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 se gana bien, se gana. Una, una cosa extraordinaria. Bueno, este es solo algunas de las actividades. Mañana nuevamente estará Big Man. Hay que de una vez invitar al público ¿Perdón? que nos está siguiendo. Hay que invitar al público que nos está siguiendo porque mañana habrá otra presentación de Big Man. Mañana tenemos otra presentación y será transmitida también por TV UNAM. Entonces están, por supuesto, invitados. Sí, y hay que seguirlo. Y creo que el domingo muy probablemente habrá otra presentación. ¿verdad? Y ahí platícanos, ¿por qué no?, de las distintas actividades que tienen como, como este festejo, hay exposiciones, hubo cine debate, ¿qué sí. nos falta por disfrutar? Bueno, este, terminamos hoy eh, las actividades que tenemos en el Instituto de Física, una serie de actividades culturales, artísticas, eh, el día de hoy dedicadas principalmente a niños con títeres, pero todas estas aparecen en la página web, ten, eh, tenemos los videos, entonces están invitados a que vayan a la página www.fisica.unam.mx y ahí las pueden disfrutar. Ya nada más, ¿a quién se le ocurrió traer a Bigman a la UNAM? Bueno, este es eh, una idea que tuvo la persona que se encarga de difusión en el Instituto de Física, Aleida, que es una chica muy, muy este, entusiasta, pues su idea convenció primero a Manuel, luego me convenció a mí y aquí está Bigman y miren, tenía toda la razón. Ya, ya los voy a descubrir aquí. pensamos que era un evento para un auditorio pequeño y cuando lo pusimos a las redes sociales quedamos impresionados. En pocos días creció enormemente el número de visitantes y bueno, fue cuando nos dimos cuenta que había que traerlo a un lugar amplio como este y estamos felices de haberlo hecho así. Y esto yo creo que también deja como una tarea pendiente, claro. eh, por, porque efectivamente no nos damos cuenta de la magnitud, la importancia que tenía un personaje, y, y al el hacer este tipo de programas en la televisión que llegó a la televisión mexicana, como ya decíamos, a través de, de Canal 11, qué importante hacer labores desde temprana edad ah, y en todos los niveles. Así es, y bueno, la ciencia es sexy. <risa> Muy bien, a ver, y, es la prueba. Es la prueba. ¿ustedes eran fan, eh, fans de, de Big Man? Claro que sí, claro que sí. Escuchamos algo por ahí, parece que, que Big Man se fue, pero alguien regresa, entonces, pues vamos a ver, a seguir disfrutando de Big Man en México. Hey! Hi! How you doing? Hey! Who did this? Get this right. My name is Paul Zalom. I want to do one thing before I show you the slideshow. Quiero hacer algo antes de enseñarles lo que continúa del show. My friends at home. They don't believe that I'm popular in Mexico. Mis amigos en Estados Unidos no saben lo popular que soy en México. <laughs> I swear to God. Por and, Dios. And then when I tell them, I say, man, I'm like really popular in Mexico. You know what they say? Uh-huh. Sure you are, dude. Y cuando les digo soy demasiado popular en México, le hacen, ajá, ¿cómo crees? <laughs> Thank you, thank you. All right, my friends, let's do our slideshow. Vamos a continuar con el show. Okay, can you see the screens? 
Pueden ver las pantallas? Javier, come on over here. All right, good. Do you get the joke, fruit is the loom? Yeah. You know, it's the underwear. Son los calzoncitos que traigo. Want to see my underwear? Quieren verlos? Fruit is the loom. All right. So, folks, I want to start my little slideshow today by telling you, oh, yes, yet another PowerPoint presentation. Va a ser otra presentación de PowerPoint para empezar. Yes. Excellent time for a nap. Excelente momento para echar una siesta. All right, I'd like to start now with the story of my life. My life story, yes, indeed. Les voy a contar la historia de mi vida. Okay. There I am as a kid. Ahí estoy cuando era chiquito. I'm on my tractor. Estoy en mi tractor. And, wow, look at my smile. Look at that. Vean mi sonrisita, véanla. God, what, what do you think of that? All right. Diabolica, okay. diabolica. Yeah, that's right. What? Diabolica. Okay. <laughs> now there's me, uh, I was the fifth beetle. Ahí yo era el quinto beetle. And uh, <laughs> that's a piece of cardboard and a, a cool a pool cue. Y es un taco. Ahí tengo como guitarra o un taco. Yeah. De billar. The de guy billar. in the back over there is going, oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right, next. Now, here's me in college, my friends. Seriously. Aquí estoy yo en la universidad. No, seriously. I mean, it really is me. En serio, soy yo, soy yo. And I know what you're thinking. All right. Say lo que pensaba. All right, there's enough of that. What's no, next cool. here? Oh, what's... That's me on the left. Soy yo el de la izquierda. I became a puppeteer. Me convertí en puppeteer. All right, yep. I don't know why that puppeteer. slides in there. Okay, I was a puppeteer, and here's some of my puppet shows. There's a Punch and Jimmy show. Y aquí están algunos de mis shows. And there we have a shadow puppet show. Right there. And that is a toy theater. Es un toy theater. Toy de juguetes, un teatro de juguetes. Yeah, that's right. And I'm a ventriloquist. You see me there? Hay un ventriloquo. Oh, that's not me. Ese no soy there yo. we go. Ahí estoy. And that's my ventriloquist dummy whose name is Butch Manley. Y el nombre de mi ventriloquo es Butch Manley. Okay, next. Oh, there's me in a movie uh, called Dante's Inferno. Ah, estoy yo ahí en una película llamada La Oscuridad en el Infierno. It's a puppet version of Dante's Inferno. Es una versión del Inferno. Uh, Dante's Inferno. Dante, del Infierno de Dante. And we were just accepted into the collection of the Museum of Modern Art in New York in the United States. Y está en el Museo de los Estados Unidos. Okay, enough of egocentric bullshit. <laughs> What you really... <laughs> Okay, we know why you're really here. It's because of Beekman's world, yes indeed. Now, the first question you must wonder is how the hell did this thing get on the air? La primera pregunta es, ¿cómo demonios fue esto a dar al aire? Well, folks, in the United States, there was a law, there still is a law. En Estados Unidos había una ley, una ley y sigue siendo la ley. That said the television stations had to have. Que las cadenas de televisión deberían tener educational programs on the air or they would lose their opportunity to be TV stations. Programas educativos al aire o iban a perder la señal. So, yeah, it's good, right? Eso está muy bien, ¿verdad? And look, in the United States, we don't do anything unless it's for money. Crean que en Estados Unidos no lo hacemos por dinero. So the government had to force them, uh, force El gobierno them los forzó. to make educational TV. Para hacer okay. educación, Now televisión we, educativa. Here's what kids really like. Esto es lo que a los chicos les gusta. Okay. So, the TV stations, the Las TV canales stations, de televisión, they said, they tried to get out of it. Ellos dijeron, tratando de salirse del embrollo, they said, the Flintstones, dijeron que los pica piedra, taught children about the past. Les enseñaron los niños el pasado. The Jetsons, los supersónicos, Supersonicos? Yes. Oh, okay. The Jetsons taught children about the future. Les enseñaban acerca del futuro. And the Smurfs. Y los Pitufos. Taught the kids about good behavior. Dice, enseñaban a los niños para seguir adelante. And being blue and this tall. 
All right. So the, the government said, uh uh, no, we're not going to do that. Doesn't sound good to El us. El gobierno dijo, no, 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 no. Eso no yeah. está muy bien. This is the guy, this is how it came about. This is Jock Church. Él es George Church. This is the guy who invented Beekman. Él es el que inventó a Beekman. He's an amazing human being. I love him very much. Es un ser humano increíble que al cual adoro. He made a cartoon strip in the newspaper called You Can with Beekman and Jax. Él hizo las caricaturas que decían Beekman and Jax. and Jax. Beekman so, and Jax. So someone got the idea. You. <laughs> Así que tuvo la idea. Someone got the idea to make the Beekman into a TV show. A, de poner a Beekman en un programa de televisión. Now, how did I get the job? Well, they looked in Hollywood for an actor to play Beekman. ¿Cómo traté de obtener ese trabajo? Buscó con muchos actores en Hollywood. But they couldn't find anybody weird enough. Pero no encontró a nadie tan loco como yo. So, so they hired me. Así que me contrató. But I, 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 when I was doing the audition, uh, I had some water on the table. Cuando estoy con el público, tengo agua en la mesa. And I, I was nervous, I was nervous. Estoy nervioso. And I spilled the water. Y he hecho el agua a los lados. So then I improvised. Y así improviso. And I played in the water, and I put some cologne on, and blah, blah, blah. Improviso, estoy jugando con el agua, me pongo agua de colonia. And I got the job. Y ya hice el trabajo. <laughs> All right. That was fascinating. Okay, next. Oh, yeah, people ask me all the time, are you a real scientist? La and, gente me pregunta todo el tiempo, ¿soy un científico verdadero? And is that your real hair? Y si es tu pelo verdadero. Let's answer the second question first. Primero vamos a contestar la segunda. Look, I'm bald! <laughs> I used to have hair, but it left town. Okay, now the second thing, uh, Am I a scientist? No, I'm a puppeteer. And la segunda si soy científico, no soy puppetero. But I'm really interested in science. Different kinds of science are fascinating to me. Uh -huh. For example, I'm very interested in uh, space exploration and what's going on in the cosmos. Es lo que pasa en el cosmos, una exploración. And aviation. En la aviación. And uh, the physics of how airplanes fly. La física hace que los aviones vuelen. Uh, anything to do with automobiles and the engineering of automobiles and the physics of driving. Uh, I love animals. Me encantan los animales. Who put that in there? All right. And what do we got here? Oh, yes. Uh, modern communication. Comunicación and moderna. I want to tell you guys why it's so important that we need, we need engineers and computer scientists. Les voy a decir por qué es tan importante que you know what ingenieros I'm... y científicos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a look at this. Can you see it? Can you guys see it? Lo vende allá? It's $3,398 for 10 megabytes. $3,398 por 10 megabytes. All right, so we need computer scientists. All right, what's next here? Oh, so our show, our show is based on letters coming and Beekwood would answer the letters. And the letters were real. La verdad es que venían cartas a nosotros y son cartas verdaderas que llegaron después de una semana. And here's the cast. Y este es el equipo del mundo de Bigman. Uh, what are they saying? Lester, Lester. Oh, Lester. Lester. Yeah, yeah, Lester. Okay, we've got Lester and there's Phoebe. And Phoebe was the third girl we had on the show. We had three girls Ella on the show. Ella fue la tercera chica que estuvo en la temporada. Um, I, so I don't have a picture of Eliza, but I do have a picture of, um, of Alana Ubach. No tengo la fotografía de Eliza, pero sí la otra. <laughs> Alana grew up. Ya creció, ya creció. All right, enough of that nastiness. Lester. Mark Ritz, my friends, is Mark with his wife, su esposa, after a long evening of taking drugs and drinking. Después de haber tomado drogas y de beber. This guy was so talented, muy talentoso, that it made me work as hard as I could so I could be as good as he was. Que me hizo trabajar lo más duro posible y gracias a él soy lo que soy. And I'm not just saying, this isn't, folks, 
This is not showbiz bullshit, okay? Esto no es tontería, no es tontería. I love this guy. Amo a este chico. Amo a Lester. There he is with his family. This is his daughter, Gabriela, and his wife. Su, um, su hija, su esposa. Teresa, Teresa. And his son, James. And his one son missing. Su and hijo, I, falta, falta un hijo, tiene dos. I, I think a lot of you folks may know that Mark Ritz died of cancer about three years ago. Desgraciadamente murió de cáncer hace tres años. And I will tell you, I miss him every day. Debo decirles que lo extraño todos los días. We were really good friends. And I love this guy to death, man. He was such a great guy. Fuimos muy buenos amigos y en serio les digo, adoro, adoro a este señor. Whoops. I had a joke for this, but I blew it. Tenía una broma, pero se me fue. I was going to say we had a team. All right. Maybe that's the team. Now, Beekman, you know, Beekman is a big team of people. You got writers, designers, a director. Bigman is a great team. He has scriptors, directors, maquillistas. So you were really sweet to me, but remember, there's 50, 60 other people who are responsible for that show. You only saw me, but there are more than 50 or 60 people behind that program. 52 in the United States, 52 percent of the audience was adults. In the United States, the 52 percent were adults. Why? Because adults watched the show because they knew they would understand science. ¿Por qué vieron los adultos el programa? Porque iban a entender qué es la ciencia. Because you know how people are. Science is like, oh my God, science. Porque toda la gente dice, ay, la ciencia, la ciencia me da miedo. But they figured, hey, if it's for kids, I'll understand it. Dice, pero si es para niños el programa, yo voy a entenderlo. So we took the theory of relativity. Oh, <laughs> why, Beekman? I don't know. Okay. We took the theory of relativity. Hablamos acerca de la relatividad. And we did it in six minutes. Y lo hicimos en seis minutos. So that was our job, to take something really complicated and make it as simple as we could. Hicimos que todo lo complicado se hiciera tan simple como se pudo. That's right. Okay, now, um, another thing we did, we did a lot of stuff. I just want to tell you about a couple of things. Um, we like doing bodily functions for the kids. Hacemos funciones para los niños, ¿no? Uh, bodily functions, yeah? Del cuerpo. Yeah, because for kids it's like pornography. Porque los niños son pornografía. So they love it, and we figured it's a good way to think about their bodies and what's going on in their body. Es una buena forma para conocer nuestro cuerpo y qué es lo que hace nuestro cuerpo. So we're talking about saliva. Vamos a hablar de la saliva. Body odor. Del olor del cuerpo. Snot. Snot, what means snot? You know what snot? Los you know, locos! It's that shit that comes out of your nose. Cuando se, cuando se, se so, sopla la nariz y le salen los mocos. Maybe I'll give you a picture. There you go. Ahí está. Yeah, so we wanted to teach kids that snot is not just a between meal snack. El snot no es algo que está entre yo y una botanita. But it also traps, it's sticky, so it traps dirt and germs as it enters the head. It's sticky, yeah, you got me? Yes. It's very sticky. It's sticky. Right. It's muy pegajoso. So it's just not to eat, it's also to... No se lo come, sino simplemente lo tiene ahí. All right, here we go. Dandruff. Dandruff son las uh, ursuela. Hiccups. Hippo. Pa caspa, ursuela. Caspa, okay. gracias. Burps, barf. Barf is vomito. Vomito. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Guacareada. We say guacareada. Yeah, that's guacareada. <laughs> and then finally, it was really hard to let them, they didn't want us to do this. The television networks say, no, no, La no. Nos dijo, no hagan eso. But finally, Pero finalmente, they let us do nos dejaron hacer farts. <laughs> Salidas de aire. Ya sé cómo se dice, pero salidas de aire I, por los pompochas. Right. right. And what's a fart? Fart, pedo. Pero. Pero de bombocho. <laughs> oh, there's kids here. <laughs> Oops. No, not a bombero, not a, <laughs> not a pero. Uh-oh. All right, farts. Anyway, kids, you know what a fart is? ¿Saben you know what lo que es? There you go. You see that? Saben más que nosotros. Sí yeah, saben. okay. So anyway... So we like doing that. Now, now, folks, our goal 
Our goal in making the show. This is why we made the show. ¿Qué hizo el éxito? Venga. To make money. Hacer dinero. This is a real paycheck that I got uh, in May of 2013. Ese es el verdadero cheque que recibí en mayo del 2013. It's for 61 cents. 61 centavos. Y no está bromeando. Recibió ese cheque de Estados Unidos por repeticiones. I just thought I'd tell you that stupid fact. Es una cosa estúpida después de todo lo que él ha hecho. Okay, so here is the door to science. This is how people think of science. Esto es lo que la gente piensa de la ciencia. The door to science is closed. La puerta de la ciencia está cerrada. And it's locked. And we wanted to open the door to science and say, come on in. Y nosotros abrimos la puerta y les decimos, entra. You, you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. ¿Saben lo que digo? Entienden lo que yeah. estoy diciendo. We want to say, hey, look, science is fun. It's friendly. It can even be a mess. La ciencia es divertida. Es agradable. Puedes hacer cosas como estas. So we really wanted to make science accessible. Así que queremos que la ciencia tenga éxito. And we love kids. Y amamos a los niños. We really love, not this kid, but other kids. No a este, pero a otros sí. All right, now, folks. Uh, oh, I want to show you a blooper reel. Los verdaderos bloopers que pasaron durante los programas de Big Man. Okay, now, I, uh, before I show it to you, uh, you'll see a guy with red hair, like wild red hair and wild red beard. Vieron un chico con el pelo rojo y barba roja? He is the director of the show. His name is Jay Dubin. Es el director del show. His name was? Uh, Jay Dubin. Jay Dubin es el nombre del director. And you'll see him in the toilet here. Y lo vieron en el baño aquí. And also, you're going to see the Beekman set being built. Ah, lo van a ver en el baño, sí. Okay, so it's a time lapse. We're going to show you how it was built. Okay, here we go. No lo vieron porque no han ido a verlo. Is English your first language, Phoebe? <coughs> but what if it gets all squishy and filled with pus and... Uh, <coughs> so, Meekman, are you going to remember the building blocks of health? Yes, doctor. Nutrition. Nutrition is nutrition. Oh. Oof. Otherwise known as... I belched. <laughs> I just farted too. A ramp! The inclined plane... <laughs> Get your mojo working! It's time! <laughs> Coming up next, my personal Big Butta Bang Theory. <laughs> the doctor's trying to hump me. <laughs> yes, I am. Brother. Not too much <laughs> Phoebe, you are so naive. <coughs> they get their water. <laughs> Oh, oh wow, oh, wow, color, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, let's put on my patented beat mom phones. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You can't see up my rat suit, can you? Yeah. Eu sou Bigman e vocês acabam de entrar no mundo de Bigman. Coming up next, Bigman spans the globe to scoop out. <laughs> Put a tablespoon of the gluey gunk into your. Hey, look, it's stuck. <laughs> Put a tablespoon of... Hey, you know what? Take the top off. It's easier. <laughs> Put a tablespoon of your gunk into his jar. No, the jar, you knucklehead. <laughs> his man's chalk. Mark that on the oops reel. Okay, well, if you tell me that, I'll do it. But if you want me to guess, I'm going to do whatever the I want. Would you like a banana? <laughs> Uh, Beak, my main man, I know you got to suffer to play the blues, but watching this electrifying demo is more suffering than one right red head. You don't know your line. Ooh. I'm just enjoying watching and I forgot I'm in the show. <laughs> but just because X marks the spot on a map doesn't mean it'll be easy. I, I hallucinated. <laughs> but! Hey, beef boy, I'm a queen, okay? <laughs> Sorry, your royal... All right. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, finally, I've heard from a lot of you, he oído de muchos de ustedes, all over Latin America, sobre todo Latinoamérica, who say to me, I am a scientist today because of you. Que le han dicho, yo soy científico gracias a ti. People tell me, uh, I'm a biologist because of you. La gente me dice, soy biólogo, gracias a ti. I teach chemistry because of you. Enseño química, gracias a ti. I'm an astrophysicist because of you. Soy astrofísico, gracias a ti. And they always say, folks, they always say, y hombres siempre dicen, you must be really tired of hearing I'm a scientist because of you. Debes estar cansadísimo de oír, soy científico, gracias a ti. But I want to tell you, my friends, y les voy a decir, amigos, I will never, Never ever get tired of hearing you people say, I'm a scientist because of you. Thank you! Thank you, Mexico! I love you! Thank you! Gracias! Gracias a todos! Badabim, badabam, badabum! Viva, viva! Qué buen recibimiento, qué buena despedida para Paul Salum, este personaje que dio vida a Big Man durante seis años en este programa El Mundo de Big Man. Una excelente bienvenida aquí en la UNAM. Escuchamos los podas, escuchamos los gritos para Big Man. Y 
en esta que es la primera de dos presentaciones con motivo del 75 aniversario del Instituto de Física. La segunda transmisión la podrán seguir a partir de ma mañana a partir de las 5 de la tarde eh, a través del canal cultural de los universitarios por el canal 30 y 30.2 digital del Distrito Federal y en alrededor de 16 ciudades. No se pierdan mañana Big Man en vivo, Big Man en la UNAM. Nos vemos mañana para seguir disfrutando de más ciencia. Adiós.